Hi guys, so today is the beginning of my new crafty week. Basically, it's supposed to be Saturday, but it's actually already like 1 o'clock, 1.55. So it's the middle of the night and I am still doing stuff. <laughs> I mean, I was filming videos this evening. My husband is working uh, for the next couple of days. He works nights. So I've decided to make myself a little bit of a collection of videos. So I am filming uh, different types of videos, trying to render them and upload them for future, you know, uploads on YouTube on my channel basically I'm doing everything twice because I have two channels I have a Russian one and an English one which you are watching right now so it's twice the job the work but I'm enjoying it I'm loving doing all this you know filming and uploading and then getting comments from you is really really fun plus i want to get some videos ready maybe for the future if i'll be able to do that before the baby comes if in case he'll decide to come a little bit earlier i'm not sure that i'll be able to film once he arrives because i will not have as much time but my dog is kind of annoying right now i don't know what she wants she keeps hearing me talk, so she keeps, like, leeching on me. <laughs> Anyways, this is what I was stitching today, the last little part of this row. And basically, I was thinking that I will be having much more of a progress than I am. And no, that didn't happen because it has so many color changes this whole place with the grass and the flowers is a really difficult stitch so um i'm not you know i'm not surprised that it took me so long but i i have been stitching this almost the entire day so i haven't been picking up any other projects i wanted to stitch a little bit of my rioli's new kit but that's not going to happen today that's for sure because it's way too late but um this one is a little bit you know progressed and sorry i'm just having a little trouble breathing with my pregnancy but sometimes i cough and i try not to not to scare people i don't have any viruses I just have a little bit of a trouble breathing once I sit in certain positions. Anyways, let's see on Saga how much I stitched. Okay, um, okay, Saga, here it is. 41% uh, are already done for this project. And that's good, that's making me a lot closer to um, the 50. Okay, my dog is going crazy. Shania. Yeah. Anyways, okay, uh, this is what I haven't finished stitching today. I just moved into filming for my um, channel. And why am I in here? No, this is not interesting. I need my calendar. So this is my calendar. Okay, on the 25th, which was yesterday already, um, but let's count it as today because I stopped before 12 o'clock. Uh, 927 crosses have been stitched today and I didn't reach my limit I didn't reach the thousand which I wanted to but that's fine what can I do um, it it's really not an easy stitch because all these areas with the flowers yeah I did my nails finally did something different I got my polishes from my mom's house and decided to, you know, do my nails a little differently. I'm not really used to having um, short nails. I had acrylic beautiful nails for so many years, but then I stopped. Anyways, that's not the point. Okay, stop scratching! <laughs> she just keeps scratching. I don't know why she's so fussy this time night i guess because she wants to sleep and then keep talking anyways i'll just finish this video for today i have nothing really interesting to show besides this one because i haven't been stitching much of the other projects 
but this one is finished for today and tomorrow's a new day my husband will be working tomorrow as well and for the couple of days to go so i will have some time to film and stitch stop scratching come on she's doing this on purpose i think Anyways, have a great night. I will see you again tomorrow and I'll update you if I'll have anything interesting stitched. So, yeah, hopefully I will. Okay, so stop scratching. Oh my gosh, she's so annoying. So, okay, I'll see you later. Hi guys, so this is the next <laughs> level of stitching. Basically, to, well, today is the 27th. I think I skipped one day of filming, so sorry. But um, yeah, this is so difficult. I think this is one of the hardest projects that I've stitched. Um, I don't know if it's because it's so confetti filled uh, or maybe it's not the confetti, but it's the... Um, fact that it's stitched on such a small count and it's pretty difficult to find sometimes where you need to fill in the little pixel I guess you can call it that I mean look at this there's a little tiny spot where um, crosses or half crosses are missing I mean can you see where over here there's one single over here two singles I mean they are so spread apart that it's really difficult if it would have been at least with like maybe two or three or four <laughs> I don't know not two or three or four but maybe a little bit more crosses in the same place it would have been worth it but <laughs> filling in one pixel every you know I don't even know how to say this every time <laughs> It's so annoying sometimes and I was really really trying to reach my norm today because it was really difficult to do when you have to change your thread every time and when you have to like jump and cut your thread and move to another area because uh, it's sometimes it's getting really frustrated but I don't want to leave it because I really want to progress with this and move to the next level which is going to be a little bit easier I hope because there will be no more grass and little flowers to stitch so I hope that that next row will be a lot easier well this area i know will be because there's a huge area that is stitched with one color i mean there are well there are a lot of one color areas and here we're going to have our lighthouse so that's going to be interesting because i cannot wait to see that grow so i think that it's a beautiful project but it's and well the difficulty is up there so I don't know <laughs> if anybody wants to stitch this remember that it's not an easy job to do now let's see how much I've stitched 42.3 percent I've already stitched today now can it open my overhead light is again bothering me okay so look at this um there's one single and there it is again so I mean you have two little pixels from the same color but they are so spread apart that they're basically are singles now over here I have two more well that's a couple and look at this one I mean I don't know if there's any place else with this particular symbol I don't see it I think it's the only one so why is it supposed to be there I actually didn't stitch him but um, I don't know what to do with it may sometimes I, I stitch like this one I could have just stitched with one of the next colors but I was hoping that there will be more of him and I cannot see that so there's one over here which is blue actually and I don't see any more from this same color so really why <laughs> why are they there I mean I could have just again stitched it with a different color but 
thinking that maybe somewhere around there will be another one. I cannot just keep looking for the same symbols every time. So I am hoping that this symbol will be somewhere around this area, but there is none. It's the only little half cross pixel that is on this area that I'm stitching and it's really difficult. It's annoying like hell. But again, I am in love with this project. Let's see how it will look like. Okay. Sorry, my dog is here. Like scratching. It will stop scratching. She's bored, but that's why she's scratching. Anyways, there will be a lot of trees up there, so the confetti will never end. But once I reach the sky area, it will be so interesting because an easy to stitch, can you see? A lot of same color areas to stitch. So basically, this whole half of the um, project will be still pretty hard to stitch, I think. I'm not really sure because some trees are easier to stitch than, than others, so I'm not sure about this one, but I hope that I will make it. Well, I, I al almost have like 50% um, from this stitch, so I hope that the second 50 will be a little bit easier. Now, next thing that I was stitching today was this. This is my Rioli's kit, the new project. Um, can you tell? I have stitched a tiny bit of it today again and yesterday. And I always am stitching the lighter colors first. Well, not always, but in this project, I try to stitch the lighter areas and then fill around them. So maybe that's a mistake, but that's how I prefer it. So I finished the flowers around here. I still have a couple left to do, but for now, I'm just, I want to fill in this whole area. So I think that it looks kind of nice. I like the color of the fabric, really, really. Look, I, I don't know if you can see the color. It's kind of a mocha. I think that on camera it looks a little lighter, but it's a kind of darker than what you see on camera. But it's kind of a mocha-like color, and I think all the colors really pop on it. Um, anyways, I really enjoy it. It's really easy stitch. If you don't want to think about what you're doing, you can just pick these up. They are a very, you know, low level <laughs> of difficulty. And I think that eventually they look really cute together. Especially when you stitch the whole set and then you have like a full set of uh, um, times of the year. So I really, really want to finish all of them and hang them because I really like the way they look they really simple but still they are i don't know they're special looking so i like them um basically once i finish the fourth one i will frame all four of them together and i already know where to hang them so that will be fun to do <laughs> okay so anyways i uh, don't remember if i showed you in this video in this week a weekly update but this is how the set looks like this one I've already finished this is already finished this one also finished I have two of these at my mom's house I actually left my finished project at her house and this one I still didn't stitch so um, after I finished this if my kits will not arrive, which I am sure they won't, um, I mean not my kits, my new project and my kits, um, I am going to start this one and finish this set all together. So um, yeah, wish me luck and wish me to get my final, you know, my uh, order. I don't know what I want to say because my dog is like turning around on the floor she's bored
anyways it's time to go to bed time to go to rest um it's really late and i tend to go to sleep every day at about two or three o'clock in the morning so i don't know maybe my body just preparing itself for the baby but <laughs> i don't think that's a very good idea to you know get used to not going to bed in time anyways okay um have a great night and i will see you tomorrow and update you what i'll be stitching tomorrow because maybe i will be stitching my scorpio i kind of miss it hey today's the 28th and actually it's already 12 and how much 12 and 13 minutes so i have accomplished my Stitching for today, for this project, <laughs> my, you know, my norm for this project. And I was so trying to stop stitching before 12 o'clock. Uh, and I did it. <laughs> I actually stopped my stitching at about 2 minutes to 12. So I, I reached my norm. I was stitching this quite a lot today, though I had some breaks for a little bit of cleaning, for feeding my husband, for doing stuff around the house, though it's really, really difficult to do right now at my eighth month of pregnancy. So I am doing a little bit every time, trying to at least, um, but that's fine. Hopefully everything will uh, be okay and the baby will be fine and everything will Get, go into place anyways it's not the, the point of this video <laughs> so this is what i was stitching today this is my scorpio of course and i have been reaching for this a lot lately i've actually been wanting to stitch it so much but i have a couple of projects besides this one so i actually really wanted to rotate between them so i won't you know like forget about anything though i don't have that many projects i just i was thinking about this a couple of days ago and basically i don't have that many projects i know that some stitchers on youtube have like 10 to 25 uh, projects all together like in rotation but uh, this seems quite a bit for me because I have my Scorpio I have my Ruby Thais I have the um, lighthouse which are all big projects they're all Chimera I have the Riolis kit um, what else do I have well, that's about it. That's the the ones that I am really, really stitching every day. Uh, my Hyed is right now in its resting place because I don't really want to stitch it lately. And I didn't want to make myself do that. I was talking about this quite a bit lately that I just felt that, that I kind of had enough of him for now at least. So maybe he will just get some rest and then I'll go get back to him. And I have the other kit that is left at my mom's house. So that's basically some of the reason why I can't stitch it. But I also didn't really want to. That's why I'm not so crazy about bringing it here. Um, that's my lighthouse from Joy Sunday. So for now, two of these projects are on hold. And I am so waiting for my packages to come. And one of them has some products that I really need to start a new project, a new project for me. And I really want to make it a surprise and not like sell everything out. So hopefully uh, when it arrives, I will be able to tell you about it. Um, basically, I again, I've reached my norm on this one. And let's see on Saga how much I've stitched. So this is it, 18.9%. Why didn't I just go to 19? Didn't even notice that it was 0.9%. Uh, can you see I've been stitching this until about 2 minutes to 12. So I stopped on time because I wanted to keep going. But um, I decided that I didn't want to drag today to tomorrow. I just wanted to have a full round day and that's fine anyways i was a little bit tired of this because i was stitching most of the day so calendar 28th 
470 crosses have been stitched, which is pretty good. I've actually, it's a little more than the norm for this project. Um, I don't really get, don't remember why on the 26th and the 25th, uh, I have two zeros. I think that I was just opening this to film something and then like closing it back. So I touched a symbol and then raised it. And that's why it looks <laughs> like I stitched zero on those two days because I didn't. Plus I have this little one on the 12th, <laughs> which is funny as well. But um, I think that I, I did good for this today. Tomorrow I'm planning on stitching something else. So this will be on hold for the next couple of days. Though I, I don't even know. Maybe I will stitch it. <laughs> I kind of don't make plans about that. So this is number two. This is the new project from Riolis that I'm stitching right now. And I am progressing with this quite a bit. It's good. Good. Because... Actually, the package from Russia, from the other package that didn't arrive yet, um, and was stuck on customs from the 18th, um, it didn't update. I was telling you about this like a million times, I think, and I was really angry. But today it actually moved, so it says that it was released from customs in uh, Russia, so hopefully they will ship it soon and it will get to me in like a week or two i hope maybe sooner i hope <laughs> because i still want to get it and that's why i need to finish this one because this one was kind of an, a replacement for something that i'm supposed to get in that order so yeah so basically this is a wool stitching and i really like what's coming but you know it's kind of a simple stitch it's not comf it's not comfortable it's not difficult at all there's a lot of same color stitching i mean this color will be like all over the place and it will go pretty fast but because this is a set that's why i'm stitching it uh, if I didn't have the others, I think I wouldn't have gotten one of them just to stitch one. Um, I got a full set of four, so these are seasons. And I think that that's the only reason why I got them, because I'm not really into smaller projects like this. But I like it. I like it for, you know, like a resting uh, project, something to stitch when you don't want to think about you know reading a full chart so yeah anyways this is my accomplishment for today hopefully i will finish it soon and then get my package and start something really really interesting that i really was thinking for a while now about anyways <laughs> now what i wanted to say before i finish this little clip um i don't want to make anybody angry or like misunderstand me i have opened a donation button 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 <laughs> i've opened a donation link uh through paypal and basically i have a link for it on my main uh channel on youtube uh where the you know where the banner is upstairs and i have a link for it down below in the info box i will explain Basically, um, I wasn't planning on doing that. Um, I didn't really open my YouTube for profit, though I did monetize my videos on the Russian YouTube. Um, I wouldn't say that I make a lot of money. I don't. I don't have. I don't make any at all. Like for the last couple of, you know, months, I've made like a couple of dollars, but. I don't even un really understand how to monetize um, and make your videos worth uh, money. The main reason I thought about, you know, getting money from my mon monetiz monetization, 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 anyways, um, was because I was planning on that money 
or that like minimal money that it will make to go for the channel so um because russian youtube really enjoys uh watching videos about new kits new re releases new starts um a lot of new stuff i was purchasing a lot of kits well not only because of that not because i wanted to you know make somebody happy but i really wanted to make my channel interesting just like i like watching shopping videos I would like to shop and show my purchases. Um, I did buy uh, quite a bit of kits in the beginning. I've, I've made a couple of shopping videos, but then I stopped. And well, I think that these couple of shopping experiences that I have had for the last month will, I'm afraid that they will be like the last ones for a while now because well you all know that the baby's coming in just a couple of weeks from now it, i'm kind of um i was thinking that i won't be able to waste let's call it that money on cross stitch and on kits and on stuff like that um and all the spare money that we have will go for the baby and I really don't want to, you know, make my content less interesting. Plus, you know, I love stitching. This is the favorite thing in the world for me. It makes me so happy. It makes me so happy that it makes you happy to watch. And I really want to keep um, collecting stuff and keep showing you interesting stuff. I don't know if American Floss Tube uh, really enjoys... Uh, new projects and new kits. Uh, I've noticed that American Floss Tube really likes um, different types of different kinds of kits and more of a stitch along videos. But uh, still, I decided to try it because I've realized that there's a way to get a donation but button button. <laughs> I just cannot say that a button um, on my channel so that you guys or if somebody will decide that my um, you know content is interesting enough for them or they will want to donate um, it will go for the development of this channel so I did that uh, hopefully, again, it will not make anybody angry or, you know, disappointed in me and think that I am doing this whole thing with the videos only for the money because I'm really not. I'm so enjoying this and I'm so enjoying getting your comments and putting out videos and filming what I'm stitching. But, you know, I would like my channel to grow more and I would like to show you some new stuff that are coming out that are being you know more popular in russia and other countries and really i won't be able to do that because i'm not working currently and am not going to be for the next while now since the baby's coming and you know with the whole thing with the quarantine my husband wasn't really working he just started again so living in israel on one salary is so super super hard because well the money um we make does not support us enough to you know be able to waste money so basically i don't want to talk about you know economical things and uh, money and stuff like that but i've i've decided to try and do this i won't get like insulted or sad if no money will go there but if anybody will like the content if anybody will decide that they will like to you know throw like a dollar or 50 cent <laughs> down there to the you know my little digital um wallet i guess you can call it that I will be so grateful and I will 
thank you so so much and that money will definitely go only for youtube development and the purchases for the cross stitch community <laughs> so basically it's, it's kind of uncomfortable to talk about but i hope that it will um you know do something <laughs> anyways Again, there's a link down below in the info box for the, um, you know, um, uh, what is what is it called for the PayPal account and the digital wallet if anybody wants to throw there. And there's also a link on my main channel up in the, you know, banner upstairs. So thank you. Uh, again, I'm not asking you to donate if you want to, that will be so, so great. If not, you don't have to and don't have to feel sad, bad about it. So I love you all. Thank you so much for watching my channel and supporting me and giving me likes and writing comments. Um, I really, really enjoy everything that's going on on my channel. So yeah, anyways, I was just talking too much. Anyways, um, thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow and hopefully tomorrow will be some interesting stitching day. So, see you tomorrow. Hey, so today is the 29th and actually today is the Israeli Independence Day. So, um, I've been stitching this since this morning and I've actually finished this whole area that I really really wanted to finish it was crazy hard because look at this it's so confetti like <laughs> I mean especially this one it's so many singles um, this all this all this whole um, project is not an easy one I mean there are chimeras that are easier and don't have so many color changes and so many trees and flowers but this particular project I didn't even think about it when I got it but it's fine because I think that it's all together coming out really really pretty but it has so many little flowers and little grass and bits and stuff and I am realizing that this is a very very difficult stitch because it's first of all I chose a fabric that's really really small count and um, basically I <laughs> I have so many singles here that sometimes I'm just going crazy and I just get really angry at myself for choosing this but I like this project for some reason very very much and I am happy for stitching it and I hope that after this I will be a professional stitcher but uh, finally I've accomplished this row and I finished this thing basically um, this little bush or tree I don't know what it is exactly it actually continues to the top I mean it is growing up there so um i still have a lot to work in this project i was thinking that the top part is a little easier but no that part where the sky is is easier but this whole half of the you know project where the trees are and the lighthouse it's really hard to stitch but i'm enjoying it so i'm going to keep stitching it until I finish this because I have a new project that I'm thinking about after this one right away so that's something that I can wait to do but I need to finish this one first I don't want to start another large project like that before I finish one of my larger projects that I'm stitching currently anyways what I'm going to be doing next is you know removing my q-snaps and moving my canvas back to the beginning of this um, design I guess because I always start stitching left to right so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to take maybe five or six squares up um, I didn't decide yet, it depends on the mood, I guess, in that moment, but we'll see. I, I'm thinking maybe I'll take six or five.
I don't know. <laughs> but I am going to do that now. Um, I'm gonna, I'm going to show you Saga because it's not that interesting. Plus, I will show you the end result in the end of this night. But today I've stitched 225 half, half crosses in this area when I finished it. So basically, I, I have to start say, saying basically. I don't know why I have this basically thing today. <laughs> so I am... Um, going to move on with that but uh after i finished this waiting for the music to stop plus my husband just left to work so i am home alone finally i guess and i can speak freely um my um what i wanted to say oh because of this beautiful holiday and the quarantine quar quarantine um well we are forbidden to do like real celebrations for independence day which are always um they always build stages and we have beautiful like uh, i don't know salutes i don't know if today we'll have one but um we have salutes we have uh all kinds of performances and well people go out but today they couldn't have done that because of the quarantine of course and people actually forgetting about coronavirus i guess so they just went out with the neighbors like the, the house on the other side of the street and they were making barbecues and the music was playing so loud since this morning until maybe like an hour ago I actually got so used to the hearing this loud music that I didn't notice when it stopped. <laughs> my husband, I actually remi reminded myself, oh my god, the music stopped. And my husband is like, really? It's not playing for like half an hour now. <laughs> I'm not, I didn't even notice it because it was so stuck in my head. But, you know, I love music, but when it's playing so loudly, like, since morning till noon, it's really annoying. So, yeah, finally, it's a little uh, more quiet. Still, music is playing. Hopefully, you can't hear that, but it's a little less loud than it was in, the, in this, you know, first half of the day. So, um, when I finished this whole area... I couldn't move the Q snubs because I wanted to film the, this area and then just move on and film the rest of it in the end of this day. But I was stitching my Riolis kit uh, meanwhile and this is what I have. Um, I'm just going to show you this now because I'm not really going to stitch it anymore today I think. I think I'm not sure <laughs> I never want to promise because maybe I'll get tired of uh, my lighthouse and just want to stitch something easier but as you can see I've already filled in these uh, shadings with the pink and I have continued the green stems so yeah we are moving along soon I will have to move my f my hoop to the other side but not yet because i really want to finish what's you know around here and then i'll just move to the other half i think that this is a really really easy stitch i mean i love stitching with wool again i i keep saying that but it's true plus i think that it's really easy because it has only eight colors and you don't have any backstitch you don't have any blends it's just straight crosses that are fluffy and that are not you know really logical color spots so i think it's a good resting piece if you just want to stitch something and not think about what you're doing so the only thing that i have an issue with on this look at the preview i mean i know that this is photoshopped and i know that you never see the right color on the pictures but you can actually see the difference between the colors, like the darker green and the lighter green. I'm not even talking about the, you know, bright um, green color 
like an apple green but on the stitching that I do you can hardly see the difference between the darker green and the lighter green I mean maybe from the far you can see some difference some shading but if you look closely I mean I with my you know eyes <laughs> real eyes I cannot see any difference with the colors so I think they chose uh, maybe a color that it's too similar to one another and you can't really see the difference um, that's kind of ruining the whole effect of the you know the leaves because you can not see the shading in them and they just look like one green mass <laughs> but that's fine it's not something that I'm you know going crazy about and I'm just enjoying stitching this while I'm resting from my more difficult pieces so anyways um, I will be ending this conversation with my camera and just going to move my Q-snaps to the beginning of this project and start stitching again because I cannot wait for that. I really, really want to start the next roll. So I will update you a little bit later on tonight on how much I stitched during today. And maybe you'll be able to see a little difference on the other side in the beginning of this project. So see you later. Hi everybody. So it's nighttime. It's actually 12 and 10 minutes. Um, there is a the reason is because I started actually filming my uh, Russian side of this YouTube adventure. I actually have the Russian channel, so I filmed that one first this time. So I started filming at 12, exactly like 12 o'clock. I stopped stitching. <laughs> this is the point where I stopped. Uh, because I didn't want to cross 12 o'clock again and then my saga will show me that I am stitching the next day. So I didn't want that to happen. But I am so happy with the accomplishment today because I've actually finished the, that side, which was so difficult. And I finally started the new side from the beginning, the new row. And this one will be much much easier to stitch I mean this is a full coverage not a full coverage it has a lot of spots with the same color and it doesn't have singles in it because it's the sky and you know skies are usually stitched with uh, minimal amount of colors but this one is really really bright and colorful and again not so many color changes and I can just sit down relax and stitch my favorite little half crosses with one color and nothing too much now I've actually now thinking about it I know that a lot of girls don't like stitching um half crosses they prefer stitching a full cross and they really, really hate that i actually saw a video today of of a russian youtuber that was talking about it and she said that she hates doing half crosses um to be honest i don't know why because i love stitching in this technique i love 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 the way it looks especially on this type of fabric on 25 count or goblin net which is of course the same as 25 count um it looks perfect i think the coverage is amazing look at this you cannot see any blank spots you cannot see the canvas behind and I absolutely love it. This little thing. I know my nails are dying. So I am going to do my nails right after I film this. Even though it's nighttime. I don't care. Anyways. <laughs> I love stitching with half crosses. It's also really, really fast. Because you finish um, half cross in half a time of a full cross. So of course your project moves twice as fast. So that's a good thing. I think for me, at least I love seeing results. So this is what we have. Now, let me tell you, uh, what I have on the saga. This is it. 
43.2 are stitched already. I cannot wait to reach the... My dog is actually catching a butterfly. There's a butterfly in the house. You know, like these huge night butterflies? And she is trying to catch it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm kind of afraid. So anyways, this is the point where I stopped. And, well, you know what? I'm kind of tired of stitching. So I'm not going to lay myself or not finishing this little piece i will keep it for next time and just feel good about finishing a color so let's see the uh calendar today is the 29th and i have finished 1188 crosses which is great now look at the 7 27th when i stitched it last 1182 so just a couple of half crosses are between those two days 1188 1182 i am so happy about it it's a very good accomplishment for today so i am happy that i finally started the new row <laughs> i keep saying that anyways um this will be it for today i don't know if i'm going to keep stitching i really do want to do my do want to do 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 my nails um maybe if i won't go to sleep yet i will stitch a little bit of my riolis kit but i'm not sure about that i had a lot of stitching today and i'm really tired and tomorrow morning i need to get up earlier when my husband will come home he works nights lately lately well he works nights now so um he comes home at about eight o'clock so i need to be ready and i need to go buy my vitamins because i'm out of vitamins and i really really need them so that's important anyways um yep yeah. so hopefully tomorrow i'll have a lot of time to stitch he'll go to bed right after we come home and we will continue our stitching adventures i don't know what i'll be stitching tomorrow i haven't decided yet i really want to start something new but i don't want to because i'm waiting for my uh delivery my orders one of them is actually here but the things that i got there is not something that i want to start now i'm waiting to finish my chimeras or at least one of them this chimera um but the other order that i have which is just moved a little bit it says now that it was released from customs but i don't know if it was shipped or will be shipped anytime soon so it's stuck again well from yesterday but it's still I'm, i keep checking i'm kind of obsessed and i keep checking my uh, tracking you know app all the time so it doesn't really change yet but i don't know we'll see maybe something will tomorrow but that order does contain something that i really want to start now so i cannot wait to get it and i so hope i will get it before uh i have to go give birth <laughs> because then i won't have time to do that so yeah <laughs> we'll see anyways have a great night or day i don't know when you're you'll be watching this and i will see you tomorrow with my next update hey guys so today is friday night and i'm home alone <laughs> actually my husband started working so finally well not finally i mean i'm happy when he's home with me i'm not bored but uh, somebody needs to work and I'm not doing that for the next couple of months and for the last couple of months so uh, yeah so I'm happy that he's finally able to work and we will have some salary going into our accounts so that's not the point of this video <laughs> I've actually missed a day I didn't film yesterday um, the reason for that was first of all I was really really tired second of all my phone fell and broke so 
I was afraid. Well, that actually happened at evening time and I got really upset and I just didn't feel like filming anymore. But my screen is actually totally smashed. Um, I can't see what I'm filming. Plus, I am so hoping that the um, video will come out okay because I basically I don't see a problem with it. But hopefully the filming is fine. But my screen is totally broken and I it's the first time that happens to me. The whole time, well, all the years since I've got my own phone, I've never broken a screen. This is the first time. Plus, I had a case. I had like a wallet case, but it was open when it fell and it fell on on um, stones. So that was so sad. <laughs> I actually started crying, but I'm crying like all the time. Anyways, um, that's something we need to fix. Um, I was hoping that we'll be able to get me a new phone, but I'm not sure with the whole money situation that's going on right now. It's kind of difficult to do because it's really expensive, at least in Israel. Buying new stuff is really expensive, so we need to, you know, get some money for that first. <laughs> but um, this is what I was stitching today. Let's go back to stitching life. Uh, this is my Scorpio, and I have progressed with it quite a bit, a little, quite a bit, a little, <laughs> quite a bit today. As you can see, a lot of blues have happened. Not that it didn't happen before, can you see that? But yeah, today it happened again. So I am loving this project, but it's a little difficult for me to, you know, stitch more. I would love to, but there are two reasons. First of all, I uh, this is on a huge... Well, not a huge one, but a Millennium Frame. And those of you who know Millennium Frames know that they are heavy and it's difficult. It's basically impossible to just hold them by hand like Q-snaps or a hoop. So I did find a way to put them um, on a stand like, I don't know how it's called, but I have this thing that holds them in onto a table anyways but um the point is that sitting the way i am it's kind of difficult and my back starts hurting i don't know if it's because my sofa isn't that you know comfortable for that or maybe um my pregnancy is giving me trouble because it's getting really difficult to sit in certain positions for a long period of times so that's something that uh, is bothering me because I would have stitched more I think than what I am usually maybe if it was in a smaller frame that I could hold in my hands I could have progressed a little more every time but I don't want to put it on a different setting so I think that's fine, it will be okay for now. Now, I'm not going to show you Saga, I'm just going to tell you how much I've stitched. And this project has 19.2% finished uh, stitched crosses. And uh, let me tell you how much I've stitched today. So today on the first, I have done 431 crosses, which is good. It's pretty good for this project. I usually stitch like 300, if not less. But 431 is good. On the 28th, the last time I stitched it, I've done 470. So today I didn't reach that, but still over 40, 400 is very, very good progress. Now let me show you uh, what I've been stitching yesterday, which I didn't do yesterday. And that was my lighthouse. Um, I'm stitching the sky right now. So it's really 
easy stitch you don't have to change a lot of colors it has like big areas that are stitched with the same color and that is so fun to do plus i love the colors it actually matches my nails <laughs> the color that i was stitching yesterday um and it's very very bright it's like a sunset or something or sunrise or maybe no i it looks like a sunset so I am kind of nervous about the colors but I still am thinking that this is beautiful and I'm so enjoying stitching that now the only thing that I have a problem with is this little half cross with focus this one I think that this is a mistake so I will have to take it out in some point and just replace it with something else because it's really annoying me it's not supposed to be there it's like a dark brown in the middle of like a light color so I don't know why it's there I think that's just uh you know bad 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 half cross but anyways I have 44.1% stitched I so want to to reach the 50 but I think I have still have some time to do that maybe around this area I will reach the 50 now uh, let me tell you how much I've stitched yesterday not yesterday yes yesterday <laughs> yesterday I've stitched on the 30 uh, 1059 half crosses that's very good I have reached my um norm on this one and i did not stop at 12 o'clock i didn't notice that it crossed 12 o'clock and i just kept on stitching then that means that on the first which is today i have stitched 23 crosses but i count them as one day because it's one sitting so 1059 plus 23 so that's how much I have stitched and I am proud of myself because I like making progress progresses with this one because I really really start a new one to start a new one and basically I can't do that because thinking about it I don't have that many projects on rotation but I really am trying not to because I'm so waiting for my package and the plan was to start something else not to start another chimera which i can do but unfortunately i don't want to though i do want to but i don't want to because i don't want to make myself stitch another big project anyways this is number three number three is my riolis kit this is the new project and it is i think it's actually maybe almost halfway through because it actually the flowers end here so it's supposed to go up to here i hope that this will not ruin the crosses when i move it uh i really do because i've seen uh some videos where it did ruin works uh because the you know the grab is so strong over here but anyways i like this project it's really really easy and this is basically a replacement for what i am planning on stitching which is still not arrived it actually moved the package moved on from the 18th at, on 28th it said that it was released from customs in russia but i think that it's supposed to say that it's released from russia after that but it didn't yet so on the 28th was the last update on my package and since then nothing moved so that's so disappointing to me oh anyways waiting for that package will kill me um i'm hoping that it will get to me on the next week or two because um if it will after the baby comes or during the time the baby comes <laughs> it will be so annoying because i i am sure that <laughs> sorry i won't have enough time to deal with that you know after birth plus the baby um yeah so hopefully it will not take that long but i'm thinking that it will so what to do
Anyways, this was the last update for this week. I mean, this crafty week. I am still going to stitch a little bit more because I don't want to go to bed. I've slept a lot today. And I think that I still want to stitch. I just want to, you know, render this video and put it up for tomorrow. And then be free to do what I want. So... <laughs> I'll keep stitching. Maybe I'll stitch this or maybe I'll go to my Ruby Thais and just stitch a little bit of her. We'll see. It depends on what I'll want in that moment. But for this video, for this crafty week, I thank you for watching. For those of you who did, um, thank you for your comments. Um, I am waiting to hear what you think. Um, if you have some requests if you have questions if you have something bad to say <laughs> it's fine um uh, i would love to hear from you give me thumbs up subscribe press the button the button i will learn how to say that the bell below to be notified when where where and when my videos come out and hopefully you'll enjoy more videos of mine so I will see you in my next video and have a great weekend, week or whenever you will be watching it. Love you all and see you next time.